Okay, let's say that uh, you're riding in a car and that's no problem, but you look over to your left and you notice that a teenager is driving and that teenager has just pulled onto the highway and he looks at you with a devious grin and he says, I'm going to go fast. And so you're terrified, right? You see the speed limit. The speed limit is 70 because you're on 44, a little bit west of Six Flags. And everything is cool until he puts his foot on the accelerator and he's going suddenly faster than 70. Of course, <clears throat> it's an old car. So it's measuring uh, speed in miles per hour, which you think is kind of stupid. It turns out your life may depend on how well you can get out of the British imperial system. He tells you, well, you look over the speedometer and it says that he's, whoa, speeding up. Now he's going 76.4 miles per hour. And he says, I'm gonna keep speeding up until you tell me how fast I'm going. So quickly you reach for your calculator and you need to find out how Wait a second, did he just ask how fast he's going? But it says 76.4 miles per hour right here. He also doesn't like the British Imperial system. So you need to convert from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Oh, no, he doesn't really like that either. He likes meters per second because you are in the car with an absolutely possessed physicist. <clears throat> he needs to get out of miles per hour and into meters per second. All we can do to this number is multiply by one, and we need to write one in a funny way. So first, let's say we'll try to get out of miles. I happen to know, here are some truths. I'll write down the truths down here. The truths are that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And so if we can get down to an inch, we'll be fine. I also know that one mile is 5,280 feet, Ew. and one foot is equal to 12 inches. So check this out. We can start doing some multiplication at this point. I want to get out of miles and into, let's say, feet first. So I put one mile down here because then this mile will cancel that mile. Up here, I need something that's equal to one mile so that this in parentheses is equal to one. So I'm going to write 5,280 feet. Then I'm going to multiply by one again because I need to get out of feet and into inches. And I know that, uh, let's see, one foot, one foot is equal to 12 inches, and then I am in inches. Look, 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 let's start canceling some stuff because that's pretty cool. Feet cancel feet, miles cancel miles. Now we've got inches per hour, wow. You think that's gonna be a big number or a small number? How many inches per hour you're covering while you're on the highway on 44? Let's see, we need to multiply by one again and we need to get out of inches. Let's go into centimeters. I know that one inch is the same thing as 2.54 centimeters. You know you're making progress now, so you start to breathe a little bit. We need to continue multiplying though, because we're not supposed to be in centimeters, we're supposed to be in meters. I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, because centi, well, just like the cent in a dollar, is one hundredth. So I'm going to multiply by Let's, ooh, where are we gonna put centimeters? We're gonna put it on the bottom or the top. Centimeters needs to cancel centimeters, so I'll put centimeters down here. We've got 100 centimeters. It's the same thing as one meter. We can do another two cal cancellations. Inches cancel inches. Centimeters cancel centimeters. And the next step is, ooh, we need, to address this hours down here. So I'm gonna continue multiplying by one, and an hour is the same thing, one hour is the same thing as 60 seconds. So let's do a little bit more calculation. One hour is the same thing as 60 seconds. Do I want hour on the top of the bottom? hours in the denominator right now, so I better put one hour up here in the numerator. This is counter to what you typically do. And then hours will cancel out, check it. We've got an hour up the top and an hour down in the denominator. Those cancel out. And uh, that's not actually true that it's seconds, that's minutes. So we're going to multiply. I do know that one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds, and this should be minutes. Wow. And we'll multiply this. One minute is the same thing as 60 seconds, and we'll cancel out minutes, and we'll finally have a calculation to do. Okay, all that remains now is to cancel out 
all the ones and do some multiplication. I'm planning to multiply the entire numerator and then divide by the entire denominator. We'll have to be just slightly careful about this. Sometimes people make mistakes here. Another place people make mistakes is with this time business right here. Notice that the units that remain are meters in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So it looks like things are going to be okay. We should probably stop talking and do your calculations so that you don't die. Here we go. <clears throat> this is 76.4 divided by one. So 76.4 is in the numerator. 76.4 is the speed in miles per hour. Then we're gonna multiply, whoa, we're gonna multiply by 5,280. And we're going to multiply by 12. And we're going to multiply by 2.54. And then we're going to divide. See, I don't need to do any more multiplication because I've got one times one times one. I'm gonna divide and I'm gonna open up some parentheses so that I can just multiply all the denominators together. One times one times one times one, skip a bit, right? And then we'll divide by 100. And we'll also divide by 60. And we'll also divide by 60. Close parentheses. That is our answer in meters per second. It turns out everything's fine. You're only going 34 point, ooh, we need three significant figures, 34.2 meters per second. And everything's going to be fine because he can slow down now. Don't speed. Sometimes people die. Be careful.